The noise, it never stops. It's a continuous buzzing of electricity. It gives me no rest. Like when I've had too much salt or seasoning and it dampens my tongue from expressing delight like in a plain ripe strawberry or an apple. Cars and trains and mechanical gossip of technology that will not cease to saturate my ears. And I am deaf. I am deaf to the call of angels. I am deaf to the whisper of butterflies. I am deaf to the breath of the earth. I cannot taste the moisture at dawn, nor the tingling prelude of a storm. For a steel sheen has coated the world in a fine pattern of non-life. All my senses drown in the static of electromagnetic corruption. And it is hard to remain as I am. It is hard to remember who, who and what I am. Non-life seeps into the heart like sewage in the ocean, lying foul on the bottom until the surf itself, the surf itself wishes to die. Sirens, water, rain, and thunder jet from the base. Hot, searing, insect cry. The frogs and crickets, doors open and close. The smash of glass, the soft, an accident rustle of silk. Nylon watering, the dry grass. Fire bells, rattlesnake whistles. Castanets, lawn mower, good humor, man skates, and wagon bikes. Where'd you learn about Satan? Out of a book, love? Out of a box? Night of sin, the fall, the first sex. A feeling of having done this same act in time. Before, oh no, not again. Between childhood, hood, adolescence, maturity, there should be sharp lines drawn with tests, deaths, feats, rights, stories, songs, and judgments. Men who go out on ships to escape sin and the mar of cities watch the placenta of evening stars from the deck on their backs and cross the equator and perform rituals to exhume the dead, dangerous initiation to mark passage to new levels, to feel on the verge of an exorcism, a rite of passage, to wait or seek manhood, enlightenment in a gun, to kill childhood, innocence in an instant. <laughs>